What's up guys? So your migration assistant is failing. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips that actually work. Uh, everything I found on Google was garbage. Basically what I had going on was I would start the migration assistant. Uh, it would run for a while and then all of a sudden it would say trying to reconnect to other Mac. Um, I'm going to tell you how I fixed it. Um, first off, um, connecting the two Macs. If you have a really old Mac and a newer Mac, uh, the newer Macs are going to have Thunderbolt 3, 4 on them, which is also called USB-C. Uh, the older Macs are going to have Thunderbolt 1 or 2 on them, which is not a mini display port. It looks like a mini display port, but it's actually either Thunderbolt 1 or 2. If that's the case, I would not recommend trying to track down an old Thunderbolt to new Thunderbolt adapter or changer or anything like that. It's, they're very hard to find, and it's going to take you forever and be expensive. What I would recommend doing is just run an Ethernet cable directly from the old Mac to the new Mac. Not quite as fast as using Thunderbolt, but it's still going to get it done way faster than uh, you would get the, uh, the cable that you'd be trying to get. Uh, I got a sample rate of about 110 megabytes per second, not bits, megabytes per second, and a real world speed of about 30 megabytes per second. Again, don't go through a router, don't go through a switch, just directly from one Mac to the next. Okay, so what is causing it to fail? I'm sure you've already disabled the firewall, duh, on both computers. If you haven't, uh, go into the uh, Mac settings app and then go into the security and privacy and then turn the firewall off on both before you begin the migration assistant. Uh, regardless, I don't think that's what causes the problem for most people. Okay, so what does cause the problem for most people is either sleeping, logging off, uh, stuff like that. So, because what you got to realize is the migration assistant is running as an app over the actual Mac operating system. So the Mac operating system in the background can, all be, can still be doing all kinds of garbage that you don't want. It doesn't shut off. So if there's weird security software running on it, that's still going. If there's any sort of energy saving features going, that's still going. So in order to get that migration assistant to go right away on both Macs, go into your energy settings and switch everything to Never, okay? Never sleep, never put the display to sleep, never put the hard drives to sleep. Never should be the setting on all of those things. After you've got that done, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the security and privacy tab. And this is the big tip. This is what's gonna get your migration to actually work, okay? In order to get your migration to work, you need to go to the security and privacy uh, settings uh, inside the settings app. And there's gonna be two spots on there that reference logging off automatically and um, needing to log back in, okay? You need to find both of those settings and you need to make sure that it does not log off after a period of inactivity. And if it does log off, you wanna make sure that it does not require a password. So if your Mac has a password, in that process of disabling the password to log back in, it's gonna save it for you so that anytime the Mac logs off, it'll log back in without a password. Um, that is gonna be what fixes your migration assistant issue. Try it out. If it fixes it, give me a like, give me a subscribe. This video was only three and a half minutes. I got straight to the point.